things I miss most about not having my beautiful golden retriever Harvey anymore is it was a really good excuse to go for a walk every single day. It was good for me as much as it was good for him. Walking the dog is such a simple and wonderful pleasure. It's really good for you. And uh, if you want to do that and also support a charity at the same time, you might like to take part in a special dog walk that is coming up, Walk for Pet Wellness. The organiser, Ada Hornack, joins me now. Hello, Ada. Hi, how are you going? I'm good, thank you. So tell us where and when the walk is taking place. So the walk is actually at Dockland. We're walking five kilometres from Point Park to Romborassi Park and back. And it is on Sunday, May the 3rd. And why are you doing it? Well, my business partner and I have um, a business called Petwell and we focus on the well-being of pets. And uh, we also live in Docklands, and over the last two years, we've noticed a massive influx of dogs um, over COVID in Docklands, and I've uh, been doing some work with Save a Dog Scheme, and they're now becoming inundated with um, dogs being handed back because people are going back to work and they, these dogs need to be rehomed. So we thought with our purpose of what we're doing and what's going on in the environment, uh, what better way to raise money and help these dogs find their forever home by bringing the community together and raising some funds. Can you tell us a little bit more about Save a Dog Scheme? Because I have to be honest, I hadn't heard about them. We've got a number of, okay. of, of organisations that deal with um, animals that have been surrendered for various reasons. Um, what do they actually do? So Save a Dog Scheme were established in 1985 by founder Pam, pioneered the no-kill policy. Um, so she was the first in the industry to actually champion the no-kill philosophy. Um, and rather than killing companion animals, they work on rehoming them. So even if they have to keep the animal for two or three years, that's what they do. They also, in line with that, uh, they also spend a lot of time and money in um, helping them with their debt bills and, and making sure that these dogs live a healthy and happy life rather than being here tonight. Right. And as anyone who's ever had a pet knows, those expenses, vet bills and just feeding and looking after an animal can, uh, can certainly be a drain on the budget. So it's fantastic that you're supporting them with this walk. Do you need to have a dog to take part? Because there are people <clears throat> in this world who like to pet other people's dogs and walk with other people's dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to have a dog. Um, you're most welcome to come along on your own or with your family and, and participate in the walk as well. Um, even if you can't make it on the day, you can also donate your $29 by simply registering page. on our Facebook page. Okay. And that is um, Pet Squad Wellness Fan Centre. Fantastic. That's probably easier for people to look it up there, Pet Squad Wellness Centre. Thank you so much and good luck with it. And I hope you can raise plenty of money to support that uh, fantastic charity looking after rehoming hundreds of dogs and cats every year. Thank you, Ada Hornack there, one of the organisers for the annual Walk for Pet Wellness charity. That would be a lovely day out. I love it when they have all those dogs together and oh, the dogs love it. Everyone loves it. How can you not love it?